In general, abandoned buildings can seem eerie, but prisons are especially frightening. Even if you don't believe in superstitions, visiting these locations can be unsettling because of the terrible events that might have happened there while they were still in use. These locales are particularly unsettling because of their histories of substandard living conditions, torture, and murder. Here are 10 of Europe's most eerie prisons that have been abandoned. 10. Prison on Isle of Procida This Italian jail is perched atop a cliff on the island of Procida. In reality, it offers some of the island's greatest views of the Bay of Naples. This is something you would anticipate from a past location, but not as much from a prison. The vistas, however, were insufficient to make up for the appalling conditions while it housed convicts. A cell included 30 to 40 guys. And to make matters worse, they utilized the same restroom. In reality, it was more like a daily bucket pass. Up to 600 convicts were there, and there were roughly that many guards and police 500. Between 1830 to 1988, it was used as a prison, one might compare it to a better weathered version of a Russian gulag. Some of the worst mafia offenders and even some fascists were detained in this former king's palace during Mussolini's rule in the 1930s. It served as the home for a number of Camorra criminal syndicate members in the 1970s and 1980s, including Raphael, the professor, Cudillo, Frank Manino, and Gigino, the king, Giuliano. Giuliano hired other inmates to work for him once they were released even though they were locked up to do so. The jail, which has been in disrepair since it was shut down in 1988, is currently collapsing, and what was once a palace of the governing Bourbons now consists only of empty, echoing hallways. Today is a tour day, but you must make plans in advance. You won't have a hard time empathizing with the price owner's desperation as they are cramped together in a small space with a single window that faces the clear, blue sky. So near yet so far away. 9. Prison Schwach One of the oldest and most stunning jails that has been abandoned in Europe is Schwach. During the Soviet era, Albania had a political prison there. Even though the jail has been closed for nearly 30 years, the surfaces of the walls still carry the names, images, and lines that the inmates scratched into them. It was planned to turn the quickly falling apart property into a museum. The government has not, however, taken any action to designate it as a museum. It will continue to be vulnerable to further deterioration until then. The prison was listed by the World Monument Fund, a New York-based organization, as one of the 50 most endangered places in the world in 2015, which should, one hopes, increase interest in supporting its restoration. Schwach is a mountainous prison, and the road leading to it is not particularly secure after dark. Visitors are therefore advised to exercise caution. Wearing strong shoes will help you navigate the rugged alpine terrain. 8. Otak Goli Throughout World War I, Goli Otak received Russian POWs from the Eastern Front. The island was empty and desolate when the initial inmates arrived. Construction of settlements and shelters was required of prisoners. Together with the adjoining Sveti Grigor Island, which held a women's prison, the entire island was legally declared a high-security, top-secret prison and labor camp by the People's Federal Republic of Yugoslavia in 1949. The jail was in use until 1989. Prisoners were made to perform hard labor regardless of the weather, which might reach temperatures as high as 104 degrees Fahrenheit 40 degrees Celsius, and as low as freezing in the winter. The hierarchy of violence and humiliation that prevailed in the institution was run by the inmates themselves. There, over 16,000 political prisoners served out their sentences, 400 to 600 of them died on the island. It was abandoned after it closed in 1989, and shepherds from Rab came to the island to pasture their sheep. It has recently developed into a popular tourist destination. 7. Patrick's Prison Patarai Prison is an eerie and mysterious location that is situated near Tallinn, Estonia. Although it hasn't been in use for over 10 years, artists and former inmates have been using its cells for modest exhibitions and art displays. Graffiti is all over the walls, which feels just suitable. However, it's difficult to explore this eerie location on your own. The prison's notorious reputation has been enhanced by the fact that Patarai has historically housed people on death row and hosted executions. The jail was originally a naval fortification constructed in the 1800s to guard the Russian Empire's shipping lanes. It housed about 500 convicts after being transformed as a prison in 1919. The 1940s saw a large number of purges since the institution was overcrowded and unsanitary. Patarai had a 1,200 capacity, but by October 1941, there were 2,600 prisoners overall. 
On March 10, 1945, there were 3,620 prisoners. The Soviets emptied the jail after the war and moved the prisoners to the eastern gulags. 6. Prison Rumu in a limestone quarry, the Rumu prison was constructed in the late 1930s. After the fall of the Soviet Union, it was forgotten. The region flooded, and the prison is now an island of deteriorating brick walls that is partially underwater. Estonian institutions from the Soviet era were shut down after the Soviets left in 1991. This includes Rumu's work prison. The prison was abandoned when the pumps ceased working. Groundwater ultimately filled the quarry. Now, tourists can take a boat trip or go scuba diving through the remains to explore the underwater prison. Views of the buildings, old equipment, and prison walls from below give the setting a mystical, dreamlike feel. Access is extremely challenging and potentially risky. Warning signs have been put up to make visitors aware of the underwater dangers because many tourists enjoy jumping into the lake off the abandoned jail facilities. Under the surface of the water, there are pieces of machinery, barbed wire, rebar spikes, and disintegrating concrete. A teenager injured her back in August 2014 after jumping off one of the demolished structures, and a guy was discovered drowned in the lake in July 2016. 5. Investigating the Nazi death camp at Libin Quarry, Poland, used for the movie The Libin Quarry is one of Krakow's best-kept secrets. This area, which is in the historic district of the city of Podgers, served as the primary quarry during World War II and has since been employed for a variety of purposes. The Libin Quarry was used as a prison facility while it was under Nazi rule. Numerous Poles and Jews were compelled to work at the location. Between 1942 and 1944, more than 800 persons were held here, 21 of them were later killed. In 1948, a monument honoring the victims was built. The quarry continued to run in the years following the war, but it was closed in 1986. Steven Spielberg hired the location for the shooting of the Schindler's List movie, which is based on the same named book. The director shot scenes that represented the Plashov concentration camp in the quarry. 4. Romania's Doftana prison in Chisore Doftana in the early 20th century, one of Romania's most notorious prisons was Doftana. It was notorious for treating political detainees harshly. Inmates endured beatings, starvation, and solitary imprisonment under frigid conditions. The prison was constructed to serve the adjacent salt mines. The prison was devastated by a terrible earthquake in 1940, which also injured several inmates. Even if they were freed, migration was not permitted. The jail was known as, the Romanian Bastille, because of its severe punishments. Originally a housing complex for mine workers, the mining town was transformed by the Romanian king into a communist prison in 1921. The prison was bought in June 2022, and it will be demolished to create room for a hotel. 3. Gulag Elgin Former Russian prison Elgin Gulag is currently a deserted military installation. Russian inmates were transported to the gulags during the Soviet era in order to produce cheap labor. Prison labor crews were frequently required for big projects because these camps were dispersed throughout Siberia and the far north. Prisoners worked all day cutting down trees, excavating on the ice, and mining copper. Early in the 20th century, as the Soviet Union was going through a period of societal repression, the gulag system was established. There were hundreds of camps, each holding between 2 and 10,000 people. The majority of the camps were, corrective labor colonies, which meant that captives were made to work in hard circumstances for lengthy periods of time under constant threat of starvation and two, Yermakovo Concentration Camp Yermakovo Concentration Camp The Yermakovo Prison Camp in Siberia, established in 1949, is a sizable collection of Cold War-era Soviet prisons that have been abandoned. It now serves as a chilling reminder of the atrocities that previously characterized the Soviet prison system. In order to create a railroad connecting the northern nickel mines with the Soviet factories in the west, thousands of inmates were undoubtedly brought to this gulag. The prison camp slid deeper into the forest with each passing winter, and the railroad was eventually abandoned. Up to 18 million individuals may have ended up residing in camps used for forced labor. The gulag system was abolished after Joseph Stalin's death, but prisons housing political and criminal convicts were nevertheless subjected to hard labor. 1. Prison Lukic This prison was used as a transitory holding facility for political prisoners in the USSR who were awaiting transfer to the gulags in the east. It gained notoriety while the Nazis ruled Lithuania and the Gestapo and Sagumas imprisoned thousands of Jews and Poles there. The bulk were transported to Paneri for execution after being taken to Vilnius's outskirts. 
On its territory, Lithuania carried out its last execution in 1995. Around 1,000 convicts and 250 guards were housed there as of 2007. Multiple detainees complained in 2009 to the European Committee for the Prevention of Torture about the staff's aggressive behavior and their, deplorable, living conditions. The facility was formally shut down on July 2, 2019. It has been reopened to the public as a cultural center since it was closed. Parts of the fourth season of Stranger Things were filmed there in 2020. A tourist organization in Vilnius intends to create a prison cell with a Stranger Things theme that will be available for Airbnb rentals.